You know, we, me and John were, were rivals, we're competitors. Uh, we've um, competed with each other, putting shows on at the York Hall, and I think we're, we're the two busiest promoters in that venue and putting on some of the best shows there. So to combine, for, combine forces, work together with our sort of shared um, address books, if you like, contact books in the boxing world, it's working really well. <laughs> for iBoxing Hub. I'm here with Mark Nielsen. Um, how are you today? Oh, over the moon. Just um, topped off a, a brilliant show with a fantastic main event. You know, we're pinching ourselves a little bit here. We're, we're at O2 for the first time. Biggest, you know, we've had uh, just under 3,000 people in and uh, top to toe card of talent and 50-50 fights and I'm uh, absolutely delighted over the moon. So the scorecard wasn't really to your favour this time. Um, any, anything that you want to say about that? Well, we're not going to mention the scorecard too much. I mean, I've been banging on about it for weeks, so we're definitely going to be the winners at the end of the night. Halfway through the night, it wasn't looking good in our favour, and it ended up not good in our favour as well at the end. I mean, we clawed a few points back later on, but they just took a bit of an early lead when some of our, some of our, I thought, our safe bets, shall we say, came the wrong side of the decisions. But, you know, that's boxing, but all fun and games. Absolutely. Um, how was it working with TM14 Promotions? How was it working with them? Brilliant. I've just, you know, we, me and John were, were rivals, we're competitors. Uh, we've um, competed with each other, putting shows on at the York Hall, and I think we're, we're the two busiest promoters in that venue and putting on some of the best shows there. So to combine, for, combine forces, work together with our sort of shared um, address books, if you like, contact books in the boxing world, it's working really well. Yeah, it's a friendly rivalry. Tonight it's all a bit, uh, a bit of fun with the, you know, the promoters um, competing against each other. But you know we get on really well. We've all, you know, we've got we're both big boxing fans at heart. I want to put on the best fights, and you know the fight fans benefit from it. Uh, are there any other promotional companies that you've got in the pipeline to work alongside, like you've done with TM14? Uh, well, listen, you know we're having conversations with lots of people, but certainly in the London area, this is this is working really well. It's a model that's uh, taken off. The, the the fighters want to be involved in it. We're certain selling loads of tickets on it, and we're getting some really quick cracking fights on it. But there's lots of exciting things ahead. Us at Nielsen Boxing want to just do things different. Keep trying to do, you know, different things, different concepts, and just keep pushing it. So, you know, we're, you know, we pinched ourselves when we first did the York Hall show a couple of years ago, and um, you know now we're doing O2. So who knows what's next? Um, what's in the pipeline for Nielsen Boxing? Then do you have any other events uh, up and coming? Yeah, we've got plenty of stacked sort of cards for the the rest of the year. I think we've got another half dozen shows. We're uh, back out in Swindon, uh, where we all started at um, Mecca. And we've got some big title fights on that card, and we're back in York Hall. So in September, it's a massive, massive fight, massive card again. Yeah, but we'll have like a, you know, probably another half a dozen shows before the end of the year. Well, a huge congratulations to you for such a successful event today, um, and we'll be following your journey and watching your next event. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much.